This RV literally destroys itself. Like you don't want to own this. It is one of the worst nightmares that I've had as a technician. Welcome to my channel. I'm Jacob. I'm a certified RV technician and the owner of Rigger RV Repair. About a quarter of the repairs I do are preventable. My goal with this channel is to give you information you can use to keep your RV out of the shop. So be sure to subscribe to my channel to get all the tips. Also, hit the like button for the videos that you find helpful so I know what content to create more of. So what is the number one RV I would never buy? Well, it's technically not an RV, but an RV system. And that is the BAL AccuSlide system. This is a type of slide room system that uses cables to move the slide in and out of your RV. It's very common in RVs, unfortunately. So let's talk about the main problems with the BAL AccuSlide. First, the cables will get loose over time. And when they get loose, the tensioning blocks will catch on themselves while you're running the slide in or out. That tension creates an enormous amount of pressure and it'll literally rip the cables in half or tear the pulleys off of the wall. I've seen an RV that in tearing the pulley off the wall, it even bent the aluminum frame of the RV. That could easily total your camper. The second problem I've seen that's really serious is that the gearbox that drives the slide in and out will leak oil. When the oil gets on the rubber roof, it causes it to bubble and eventually crack, creating water leaks on a relatively new camper. Water damage is really serious for RVs. It'll create mold, mildew, and rot issues that'll make the slide out collapse. Because the slide moves in and out, this oil dripping on the roof creates problem spots in two locations. One of which you can see pretty easily. The other one you can't see unless you bring the slide in and then climb up on a ladder and look at the roof of your slide out while inside the RV. Another common issue that I get called out for is when the cables snap in half. Sometimes this is because they weren't tensioned properly. Sometimes I found that they were over tensioned at the factory and they were so tight, they just gave up under the stress. If a cable breaks in the middle of your trip, your RV may be stranded until you can get a mobile technician like myself to come out and replace the cables to get the slide operational again. So the cables can be problematic if they're too loose, if they're too tight, and the gearboxes can be leaking oil and destroying your RV roof. So here's my advice. If you are shopping for an RV and you see a BAL AccuSlide system, you should run the other way. Just don't buy that RV. If you already have an RV that has the BAL AccuSlide, you've got, I think, three options. One, you can trade in the RV, get something different. Two, you can actually have it replaced with an alternative slide out mechanism. It's very costly. Or three, make sure you do proper preventive maintenance to avoid this kind of failure mid camping trip. So there's two things you can be doing for preventive maintenance on the AccuSlide system. First off, you wanna check the tension of the cables. If when the slide is fully out, you can push on the cable and it deflects more than about a half of an inch, you'll want to have the cables retensioned by a qualified service technician. Second thing, you wanna check the roof for leaks. If the gearbox is leaking on the roof and there's a bubble forming, that needs to be cut out and an appropriate patch put down. So a broken BAL AccuSlide is one of the more common reasons I get called for an emergency repair. That's why it's on my Don't Get Stranded checklist, which covers four of the most common scenarios where I have to go and help a stuck RV that's immovable. I really encourage you to download the checklist because the items on it are some of the scariest breakdowns, sometimes leaving you stranded on the side of the interstate or with a camper that's unmovable when you've got a spot that has to be taken by another RVer. In situations like that, you end up calling a mobile service and paying a lot of money to have your RV repaired in an emergency. You can avoid those things. Go get my Don't Get Stranded checklist. You can download that checklist at my website or by clicking the link on this video. Be sure to do everything on it. And final note, I'm gonna be making a video soon covering common RV maintenance issues. If you have a question you'd like for me to answer, be sure and leave a comment so I can address that in my upcoming video. 